And the piece we're presenting today is called Companions Required. And it kind of grew out of a lot of time during the pandemic. As I say, I asked um, my dancer friend if he would like to put choreography to a friend's poems that I was setting. It's a Bay Area poet, G.P. Scratch. About 30 years ago, I also set his um, Latin mass to music, too. So we go way back. And I guess without further ado, we'll put this up. resist the urge to clean or to organize <laughs> because today I want to get started writing music again I mean start writing music again seriously and I just have to stop to be being afraid of looking busy all the time you know or people thinking I'm not nice because I just want to go off by myself and write music I mean what kind of a mom does that well probably me Hey, Scratch. Hey. What's, what? the, what's up, man? What's up with all these poems? That was really some rain, huh? These poems, they just keep coming through the mail like every week. There are poems on postcards. And they're absolutely wonderful. I love them. Here, read this one. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Venus and moon stand. Out amid dark gray clouds in light blue pre-dawn sky. Kaboom. I remember when that happened. I was looking out my kitchen window and there's the moon, a crescent, Venus, a star inside of her circle. It was beautiful. Oh, read another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one's yeah. good. Bernie Sanders, the popcorn candy. An unnoticed seed. In the Senate for years, he opens like popcorn. Scratch. What goes on inside of your head? Read that. I don't know. Well, let's see. Um, yeah. Um, she she is sitting in her kitchen. Uh, she she has a day off, <laughs> but what is she gonna do with it? Because she knows she's afraid to be alone. Yet she wants to be alone more than anything about music. <gasps> oh, hello there. Hi. Who am I? Well, as you can see. I used to be her guardian angel, but she never knew I was there because she was planted on her two feet. <laughs> but, you know, everything worked out fine. I was really proud of the work that I did with her. But little did I know there was a much bigger job waiting for me, that of the inner agent. <laughs> yeah, it will block me from being the guardian angel. no matter what. He doesn't need a book publisher for people to read his poems. He just puts them on postcards and mails them to friends. <laughs> friends read them, and I mean, that's what really matters. Okay. 
The Museville Herald. Headlines are American Haiku. Daryl Gray. King Crown. Citizens deposed. <clears throat> Frog jumps into sound of water. Disaster happens. Millions watch TV. Shattered moon on water, still whole. Republic rats. <laughs> Republic rats infest flag. Flag infests world. Weather strikes Oakland, California. <laughs> Pundits baffle. <laughs> Man bites dog. <laughs> Cigarette smokes coke. She landed just fine. I thought everything was okay. The poodle and I know there was a much bigger job waiting for me. That of the inner agent. Yeah, so I had to make a few changes, you know, in my job because suddenly she started to have ambitions. Creative titles waiting to be realized. I wasn't expecting that at all, no. I mean, it's one thing to protect somebody from life, apparent danger. But it's a whole other thing to nurture and guide a young soul through treacherous years of heartbreak and disappointment and rejection. Rejection and letters. Rejection letters. Who protects them? No, I, I don't know. Who protects the artist? Who protects the artist? I was absolutely terrified. That's okay. Maybe there's some possibility. You never know. In 1987, GP Scrat, I just gotta move this back a bit. It's a small mistake that I need to be saying. In 1987, GP Scrat, the Bay Area poet, asked me to set his deep poetry, sound translation of the Latin Mass to music. Now, GP had performed Mass many times before, and when he did, he always did it as a priest in complete priestly garments. And looking back over videos of his performances to get an idea for this performance, have a look. I was really struck by how little he used body movement. There was like almost none. He didn't use his hands at all, no prayers, no blessings. He conveyed the priest entirely through his looming height, his furrowed eyebrows and his deep set eyebrows. And then laughter would start to spread through the audience as he started to realize the humor in the scene. And every time, scratch the priest would say, all my mind. The audience would reply, all my God. Now you're gonna need to do this in a couple of minutes in my piece. So let's practice that. I'm gonna say all men, and then you reply. All my And by the end of the mass, the audience had become a part of it. Cigarette Empresario, eggnog assemble, anti-circular circulation. All mund. Anomaly pot roast. Experience sank deep. All mund. Peck the aura. Don't throw. 
throw them, trivial nostrils poking at my serious dominoes. Almond. Shotgun spider, two doors down. Uranus, almond. almond. Go in peace. When Scraps first asked me to write the music to the mass, I mean, it really changed me because he believed in me. And I wrote some good music. I mean, I, I know I should have been able to go off by myself and just write music, but there was something about the loneliness of writing music that really scared me. I was afraid that if I was alone, people would think I was weird. And if I was weird, then I would be more alone. So I found ways to do music where I wasn't alone, you know, but, but I wasn't composing, which is what I really wanted to be doing. Oh gosh, I wish there was some way I could just reset my buttons and get going again, find that creative spot in me. I had it once, I remember it really well. I just don't know how to do it. I can't find it. I to that place anywhere. <laughs> Maybe what I need is an art buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're pretty cute. I think I'm going to take you to <laughs> too much to be so. And we can play together. Come on. <laughs> uh, or maybe I just need somebody to share that alone space. Slipping into her memories. Sometimes I, I really wish I could just yank her out of those memories. Because the only way, the only way to be great is hard work, you know. Struggle for real. Yeah, she's been slipping for a while. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Nice to have somebody to believe in you. Oh, yeah. Like that poet guy for working so hard. What was his name again? Something about scratch. No. His name was Scratz. S K R A T Z. He tells a story that he got his name from a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's even a hateful dog. <laughs> so when I first, you know, started getting all these postcards from Scratz, they just started coming through the mail, you know, every week. Out. And they started piling up does. right on my kitchen table. And I could hear the music in them just waiting to be read. Wait, no. Now, where is that one, one post I was looking for? It's the one with the cigarette burn hole in the front of it. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Yeah. It's called Sig Song. Okay, let's see what we got here. Piranha Yama Sit. Hmm. Would I do that? Cigarettes, right? Or does a cigarette write the 
has determined that this song contains cigarettes and could be harmful to your health. <laughs> She was only 19, living on her own for the first time in a student co-op house in Berkeley, California. Yeah. But she was the only one that ever wasn't in school. She didn't want to be in college because she wanted to be experiencing real life. Real life. But she was still more pretty innocent, you know? So I kept an eye on her. Like the time she went down to the Monterey Jazz Festival with somebody she kind of knew from work. Monique. <clears throat> well, when they got to the fairgrounds, it was absolutely packed to see of people. Remember what that used to feel like? <gasps> oh, anyway, the air was electric. There was Sarah Vaughn that night. Did we go up? Mom was in the air. They never heard anything like it before in their lives. And when they got back to the motel room, Monique put her arms around Bob. And I said, that's not what I came to Monterey to do. And she snuck out of the motel room, spent the night on the fairgrounds. I don't know if she probably was sleeping that night. But in the morning, there was Snooky. <laughs> he bought us some coffee, donuts. They went and found a place on the lawn. And it was blue Sunday. Good news had come out the whole day. And then in the evening, they drove back to Berkeley, California. But it was a messy, complicated time in her life, a lot of coming, going, a lot of noises in my head. Yeah, behind all this noise, I heard a voice. I 
don't know why it caught my ear. Maybe it was just more real than anything else going on at that time. And this voice said, I want to be a composer. Oh, I wasn't quite expecting that, but when I heard it, I knew I had to become an inner agent at that point. Yeah. Now, let me explain. It's not that it's not that easy. It's actually kind of difficult to go from spirit body, like a guardian angel, into the human body of an inner agent, but we're willing to do it if we can help us in the right way. Oh, boy, you are so true. So, I set up a chance encounter with one of my previous clients. It's this kid from Mississippi. Piano player kind of shy and awkward. Really good though. His name was Moses Pallister. <laughs> You've heard of this either? some sodas because they weren't old enough to drink yet. And then they sat down at the table right next to the piano player. Soundtrack of Shadow Cat with the piano for the group.
piano player told him his name was Moses Tyler, Moses Towers. <laughs> and he asked them, hey, do you guys like jazz? Oh, do they like jazz? They love jazz. And deep conversations ensued as they ripped on their favorite artists, their favorite albums, their favorite songs, everything. And Moses, well, she sat back and he listened. He listened to them. Yeah. He treated them like equals. Or like the equals they would become when they had also <coughs> struggled and created something he created. But for now, he was allowing them to imagine themselves into their futures on the updraft of this incredibly fine and generous musician who was allowing them to see themselves as his own lead. You know, Moses is the best kind of teacher there is. Which is weird, because he wasn't even a teacher, right? He was just doing it. Right. She never forgot him. No. And she took that message with her into her own future. <laughs> oh my goodness. She did. She used her book. That's crazy. She's actually writing music again. Finding creativity. All those wonderful things. That's so fun. Maybe she'll find a couple artists I need to hang out with so we know to share that honesty. But well, as for me, my work's done too. Hey, when my work's done, I like to try and do it. Try? Just do it. Try, okay, I'll yeah. try. Out of all the things in this world, I can do it. Sing it in the mirrors the setting sun. 
lived Red Sea too. Lived Red Sea too. Now mirrors the setting sun. Thanks.